Good morning. I have a cat. Oh, she does not want to be here. This is my cat. She's a little bit weird and strange. She does not want to be here. Okay, she's going. Okay, bye. As always, I'm starting today's video with the Lucas Pawpaw ointment to put all over my lips. Next, I'm going to use the Olay moisturizing cream. Disclaimer, got a massive pimple here. Oh, I think I'll cover that up. Oh, my skin must have been really dry because that absorbed into my skin really quickly. Uh, the next thing I'm going to use is this Laura Mercier Radiant Primer. Is that all it's called? Yeah, Radiance. I'm going for a little bit more of a glowy look today, so I decided to use this product. This primer, in my opinion, gives a little bit more of a dewy finish rather than the professional, which is meant to go matte. So if you want a matte finish, I would recommend the professional, but if you want a dewy finish, I would recommend the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to use this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. It's kind of like a cool applicator. So it's got this doe foot on the end, so you just basically pluck it out and then start swiping it on your face. You have to dip in a fair few times, like definitely as uh, I've been going through the bottle, it's been getting harder and harder to get more product out. That is like the one sort of difficult thing about it. But you know, it is really cool to just be able to honk it on your face. You definitely wouldn't want to use this if you are doing like makeup artistry where you have to put it on certain different people. So that would make it really difficult. This is definitely only for like a personal use because I mean, it's fine when you're dunking in and putting it on your own face over and over. But if you were trying to do that on different people, it would be quite unsanitary. <laughs> and now I'm just going to blend out all my foundation with my beauty blender. Next for concealer, I'm so excited. It has been like, I don't know how long I've had that previous concealer for, but I got a new one. It's exactly the same and nothing's changed because I loved it so much. I have not been able to find a better concealer than this NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm sure there's others out there, like for example, the uh, Tarte Shape Tape. I would really love to try because apparently that's a very, very good one, but I'm having trouble getting my hands on it here in Singapore. So maybe I need to go try and find a way to get it online. But anyway, I just want to like, just listen to this. It's an Oh, so good. <laughs> oh, so much, so much product. Now I'm just gonna flip the beauty blender and blend out my concealer. Before this starts to crease, I'm now going to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder to set underneath my eyes. Now I'm just going to set the rest of my face with that same Laura Mercier translucent powder. And we're all set. Now I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in taupe to do my eyebrows. I'm just gonna quickly do my other brow off camera. So now that my brows are on, I'm just going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and carve out. So to continue with the eyes, we are going to take this same concealer and just plonk that all over my eyelids to conceal all the veins and make sure we have a completely blank base for the eyeshadow. This brush is pretty cool. It's the Sigma 3D Precision, um, it's the mini version brush and it's got this angled edge here and it's really helpful to sort of come right up to that brow bone and blend the concealer into the line that we've already made. It's also easier to get right down into the lash line and make sure that the concealer goes all the way to the bottom. 
So it was my boyfriend's birthday the other day and I went out for dinner with him and you know did my makeup before I went and I forgot to set my eyelids and I put some concealer on them and I wasn't putting eyeshadow on so I just literally had the concealer on and it got so oily in my crease just here just kind of like produced this nice big oil line I was just like oh damn I forgot to set them so I must remember to set with my Laura Mercier translucent powder now so for eyeshadow today I'm doing a brown smoky eye with a black and gold winged liner so I'm really excited to see how this turns out fingers crossed I can keep my hands steady enough to do the winged liner but uh, basically for the eyes we just have to do a nice brown smoky eye I'm basically only going to be using these two colors here which are frappe this guy is the medium brown and then the darker brown here is called Americano so it's that guy there we're just going to be blending the frappe color the lighter color up closer to the brow and then the deeper color down closer to the lid so for the first step it should look something like this and then we are going to dip in with a what is this guy just a Sephora brush this is the smudge brush and I'm going to pack this color here on the brush and just press down the color tap off all the fold out and just press down the color on the lid here now obviously we don't want this big harsh line in here so I'm just gonna take another blending brush and I know it looks blue but it's just because it's stained it doesn't actually have any blue on it it's perfectly clean but I'm just gonna take that uh, Americano darker shade and just blend it in my crease so just to make this eye look a little bit better for my eye shape because I have hooded eyelids when I didn't bring this out here before when it was just flat like that it was making my eyes look very small so instead I wanted to bring the color out to the edge a little bit more and sort of give it that cat eye effect and just keep pulling it out in this direction which is going to lift the shape of my eye which is more beneficial for my eye shape I'm going to now repeat on the other side next I'm going to take this Kat Von D tattoo liner and I'm going to line my lash line very thinly because you know with hooded eyes when I look straight you're not really even going to be able to see the eyeliner and then I have to put two layers on so I must make sure this is very very thin okay so this is the part I've been most nervous for so let's just see how this goes this is the Urban Decay razor sharp longwear liquid eyeliner and this is in the shade gold rush so I'll show you here it has a super thin brush there uh, and it's just this beautiful like yellowy gold and I'm just gonna try my best to place this on top of the line I've just created now okay so I've done the eyeliner on both sides I think it's really cool it just adds like a little bit of a pop of color I just really like how it's turned out so far now going on, oh, we just got a look brighter. Uh, now going on, I'm using my Better Than Schmish mascara and I'm going to coat my lashes before I put on false lashes. Now for lashes, I'm just gonna pop on these Ardell Demi Wispy lashes. So now just to complete the eye look, I'm just gonna take a little bit of a mixture between this Americano and frappe color and just mix these two together bounce them together tap tap I'm just gonna now take this under my lower lash line and finally just putting some more mascara down on my bottom lashes to keep them nice and open now to continue to finish off the face I'm going to use my NARS contour kit here and I'm going to use the contour shade to chisel out my cheekbones my temples around the tops of my forehead
and around my jawline. I just hit pan. I have had this for so long as well. Why are my NARS products running out so, so much recently? Wow. This is the first contour palette that I ever bought back in like probably about three years ago I bought this and I'm finally hitting pan. That's so sad. So I've just taken Melba on my funky dunky brush and I'm just popping this all over my cheeks. The eyes are very dark so I have to make sure that you know there's a nice balance between all the colors on my face. It's not just like eyes. Now for highlight, I'm going to use the Hourglass. I basically have the same face routine. I don't really have too many different sort of contour shades and blushes and highlights. The two things I mostly change up in my makeup would be the eye look and the lip look. Everything else, I have a couple of foundations, but only sort of like two or three that work for me. And then everything else is just in the eyes and the lips. So now all I need to do is finish up the lips. So for liquid lipstick today, I'm going to use their Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Lolita. This one was given to me as a present by one of my students, so thank you Esme. And I am just gonna pop this all over my lips. It's a nice brown to tie in with the brown that we have on the eyes. As you can see, this is a nice shade to tie in with what's going on in the eyes, but I definitely think I want to add a little stripe of gold down the center of my lip. Uh, I think it would tie in nicely with what is going on on the eyes. For the last step, as usual, I'm going to take this Urban Decay setting spray and spritz it all over my face. So here we have the finished look. 